जन्मथुनादिगमेदुखम हितु क्षम कुंडयन करयरीव दुक्ष दुक्षम तृप्त नेह कृपनादुदुक्षभाज कंडूती वक्मनुषी जम्बिषे तो धीर जन्मथुनादिगमेदुखम हितु क्षम कंडयन करयरीव दुक्ष दुक्षम तृप्त नेह कृपना बहुदुक्षभाज कंडियति कंडियति वक् मनसी जम विषय तधीर गौरी गोष्ठीपति गौरी गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परमंश जगत गुरु टोल्ड दैट भगवान फॉर बॉन्डेड जीवस दैट काइंड ऑफ इंडिपेंडेंट भाव इन दैट he is not at all making one barrier in that it means that he is not at all putting any kind of barrier kodi goshtipati shishila bhakti siddhanta saraswati ko swami thakur prabhupad paramans jagat guru told that bhagwan in the life of bonded jeevas that kind of independent bhav he is not at all becoming one barrier in that at all he is not at all taking the rights from those bonded jeevas lot of people are there that they are actually questioning like this that why bhagwan actually is swarat purush bhagwan is is for all the bonded jeevas he can just transform them and they can just uh, put him in uh, bhagwat bhakti but why he is not doing that the actual answer regarding this is that prabhupada actually speaking that bhagwan for bonded jeevas that kind of independent bhav is not at all making any barrier in that why because if he will put some barrier then this game then this game what is going on this leela in that that artificiality will come there from up from that some kind of external artificial pressure will come and no uh, enjoyment will be done bhagwan actually wants that jeevas can understand on their own individually bhagwan himself wants that individual should automatically understand that that i am the only vishya vigra to worship and on to my lotus feet only if you will just surrender yourself then you should be getting out of this material maya this material bonded jeeva automatically just understand that forcefully just by slapping someone and just giving him this kind of instruction it's not a matter of joke at all someone we are actually putting some pressure and artificially force 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 we are actually applying that he can understand so this is not at all possible so i have already discussed it a lot of time before as well that jeevas what is the actual swarup of all the jeevas what is the actual swarup of the jeevas The, what is the actual swarup of the jeevas if we can just understand that if we can just see the actual swarup of jeevas that inside jeevas that jeev is actually chetan vastu chetan object chetan means even it he is actually chetan there is some kind of uh, and jeevas he is actually chinmay jeeva is jeevas are all knowledgeable Jeev is Prakash Mai and Jeev is Anand Mai as well. What I have told? Jeev Prakash Mai, Jeev Anand Mai. Huh? Is all. This all. All the characteristics are there in the uh, Jeevas. All qualities are there automatically in the Jeevas. Jeev is actually Chin Mai, Gyan Mai, Prakash Mai, Anand Mai. So Chin Mai. So Chin Mai means. Chid may means that chid was to that which chid was to cannot be destroyed at all. So for infinity period, that chid was this kind of sansar that when they are actually going into this worldly cycle of birth and death, in that actually it's already going that cycle of birth and death of Maya. But it doesn't mean that from infinity period.
कृष्ण भूलि से जीव अनादि बहिर्मुख अतए माया तर दे संसारि रूप अनादि कर्म फले परिभवार नव जले तरीबारे न देखी उपाय विषय हला हले दीवानी सिहिया जले मन कबू सुख नहीं पाए अनादि कर्म फले परिभवार नव जले तरीबारे न देखी उपाय विषयो हला हले दीवानी जले मन कबू सुख नही पायो अनादि कर्म फले परिभवार नव जले तरीबारे न देखी उपाय From infinity time period, that jivas, this sansar chakra, in a uh, uh, cycle of birth, and that is already going on. It is no end. There is no end to that at all. This is not at all finishing for all the bonded jivas. It is all the time going from infinity period, but jivas. This from infinity period, what actually is going on? That this kind of karma for what they are accepting, maybe actually it is going on from uh, infinity period, but it doesn't mean. But it doesn't mean that it will not end at all. But I want to speak that that from infinity period, what it actually is going on? This bonded condition, this karma bandhan, that bonded bondage of birth and that it can get uh, stopped. That karm actually is from infinity period, from infinity time actually is coming, but still definitely it gonna end also. It can come to an end as well. That's why actually in spoke spoken in Chitanya Chitamrit. This, this is the actual solution. प्रभुपाद एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग दैट जीवस इज एक्चुअली विभु चैतन्य परमेश्वर इज द एक्चुअल पार्ट एंड पार्सल ऑफ दैट परमात्मा वेरी स्मॉल इन्फिनिटी इन्फाइट एसिमली स्मॉल पार्ट पोर्शन ऑफ दैट परमात्मा दैट्स वाई भगवान इन गीता स्पीकिंग That uh, jivas are my own ansh. That whatever jivas you are seeing on this material creation, infinity material universe, that is actually uh, infinite, seemingly small. My part only. It doesn't mean that Bhagwan is getting into small, small parts. It doesn't mean like that. But this uh, one, uh, even the one dust particle of the lotus feet of Bhagwan is actually complete vastu, a complete object. And just by speaking that it's an actual ansh, it doesn't mean that we are actually just cutting Bhagwan into small, small parts. That they are actually getting divided into jivas. That jivas are actually the ansh, the part and parcel of Bhagwan, because the tatastha shakti of Bhagwan, the because the actual tatastha shakti of Bhagwan, that jiv shakti, that tatastha shakti, it is the actual part and parcel of that only. That Bhagwan. And Bhagwat and Bhagwan Shakti is not different from each other. Bhagwan and Bhagwan Shakti is not different from each other. That's why, if if actually it is uh, spoken like this, that there actually is no fault in that at all. There is no fault at all. Why? Because because this uh, we, I am only the actual ansh of Bhagwan. That Tatastha Shakti of Bhagwan. I am just the part and parcel of that, but still, it is actually eternally present. And the jivas inside them, what kind of independent bhav they are having? That is actually chetan. That for chetan object. That for chetan object, whatever the free will definitely will be there of that chetan object. If, if. For any object, if that's free will, for that particular object will free will not be there. Then definitely it is not at all chetan. Chetan, some kind of independent will definitely will be there. 
that free will definitely will be there for that chitan object transcendental object so jivas are actually the actual ansh of that vibhu chitan nivas to in the ocean like like uh, what actual uh, quality and actual work of water the actual work of water is one drop of water there is one kind of dharm for that water also like in the ocean like water is having that kind of dharm that they are performing their duty that even one drop of water that same duty of water is there that same that it is very infinitesimal as mali uh, that work of that drop of water is present in the water of that ocean that chetan mein bhagwan is uh, all independent vibhu chetan ne bhagwan is all independent and anuchit all infinitesimally small jeevas that same ratio that independence is there in those infinitesimally small re, uh, jeevas also because bhagwan is vibhu chetan ne that bhagwan is the topmost swarat vastu but still he is and the jeevas they are which are actually coming from bhagwan that inside jeevas also that same independent bhav will definitely will be there it is natural naturally present in them why because jeevas because jeevas are not at all uh, material or in nature you understand the point what i am speaking jeevas जीव इट्स नॉट एट ऑल एनी नो वन हैज मैन्युफैक्चर्ड जीव बट दे आर एक्चुअली एटर्नली प्रेजेंट दैट दे आर नॉट एट ऑल मैन्युफैक्चर्ड बाय एनी वन जीव आर एक्चुअली इन इट ट्रांसेंडेंटल ऑब्जेक्ट जीव आर नॉट एट ऑल इनवर्ट इन नेचर दे आर एक्चुअली चेतन इन नेचर ट्रांसेंडेंटल एंड द एक्चुअल इंडिपेंडेंट भाव ऑफ जीव आर दे आर एक्चुअली नॉट एट ऑल गाइडेड बाय एनी वन the actual independent bhav of the jeevas it is not at all itself there already there inside them nobody is actually controlling that that in the place in that chint for that chetan jeevas that independent bhav is already naturally manifested in them that jeevas if they will be misusing their independence then definitely they will get a, a bad result out of that they will be getting unhappiness that jeevas when they will be actually misusing their uh, independence then definitely they will get bad result out of that they will be getting more and more unhappiness bhagwan not at all actually putting any kind of barrier in the independent uh, uh, bhav of a particular jeeva bhagwan is not at all taking his independent bhav at all bhagwan is not at all actually putting any kind of barrier on the independent bhav of any of the jeeva भगवान डोंट वॉन्ट टू डू दैट एट ऑल भगवान भगवान डोंट वॉन्ट टू भगवान डोंट वॉन्ट टू किल दैट टॉप मोस्ट चेतन वस्तु बाई जस्ट हैंगिंग इट हैंगिंग इट ऑन द सीलिंग डोंट वॉन्ट टू जस्ट डोंट वॉन्ट टू मर्डर दैट काइंड ऑफ चेतन वस्तु because bhagwan is the most merciful incarnation and is the ocean of mercy and that's why that chetan jeevas that chetan vritti that kind of natural inclination and, and natural inclination and about behavior and misbehavior it's already written in the shastras and whatever from the lotus mouth of pure guru vishnu of that topmost uh, hari vani hari kirtan is actually going on hari katha that is the actual treatment of their material disease that chetan jeevas that how they have to actually for a jeeva they have to behave and how you have to misbehave this kind of distinction automatically openly it is written in all the shastras and in the actual pravachan of all the uh, pure guru vishnu it is already present naturally there so in order to understand that you just need to make sure that you are doing the association of pure guru vishnu so all those jeevatma this all kind of upadesh and strict rules and regulations of the shastra they are actually just listening that and after listening they are they are actually uh, using that in their life not misusing so then it will be okay for them they are actually they will just get the top most spiritual benefit in their life they will get the bhakti if they get bhakti otherwise if they are misusing that 
then uh, definitely they will get bad results and whatever the pravachan of the shastras what actually the shastras are speaking that the actual vani of pure guru vaishnav just by hearing that if inside the heart of someone that kind of like like duryodhan that kind of misbehaving and misconceptions that misuse of their independence that kind of bhav will come like duryodhan then definitely it will that kind of desire what they are having like duryodhan then definitely they will be if you they will be misbehaving and misconception uh, like duryodhan they are using their independence then definitely they will get bad results those who are inside their heart that anya vilas is there some kind of material smell is there then inside their in their life definitely that kind of shanti is not at all possible peacefulness is not at all possible in their life that in the life of someone that kind of material desire or lust is there regarding some material desires then definitely his love puja pradesh the name fame position is there inside him then definitely that jealousy regarding that it will not at all uh, get uh, vanquished if they will just get the association of pure guru vaishnav like the case in the rai ramanand samvad it's already written there bhagwan actually speaking there that jeevas are actually foolish definitely that in the swarup gyan they are actually uh, but by just by the association of maya they are actually just getting into mad condition that's it they are foolish number one they can't even imagine in which position they are so that's why in chatanya chetamrit actually it is written regarding this that inside that person who is having that material desire and kamna vasana definitely he will be getting bad results if uh, he is having material desire definitely his uh, uh, mind will go towards material desires definitely he can't get out of that because kam is there material desire is there smell of material desires are there so he can't get out of this material maya at all so up till this point whatever kind of uh, consideration you give to all those bonded jeevas bhakti no thakur bhakti no thakur speaking that whatever kind of consideration you are uh, making in order to understand bhajan his actual previous sanskar is not at all good he will not at all listen to the that even if it is coming from a pure guru vaishnav's lotus mouth still he will not hear at all he will just uh, Uh, that kind of bhog pravritti will definitely stay inside jeevas from where actually it is coming it is just actually produced by maya devi actually it is written already jeeva swarup hai krishna ne to bhakto aisa nahi bol raha it is not written like that bhakti that bhakti bahut dur ki is a very far distant thing that is a top most rare jewel just by pure guru vaishnav association only it can come inside us otherwise it's not at all possible that bhakti can sustain inside our heart kamna vasana that kind of love puja bhakti naam name fame position material lust and desire this all this is the actual bondage that is called actually bondage what do you call bondage apart from that that is actual the bondage इम्पॉसिबल up till now no one has actually uh, produced such kind of document and proved that by material desires only the material desires will get vanquished it is not at all possible no one has in any any of the shots or it is written no one can do that at all why because today agar 
if i am actually just i am i am just putting uh, some petrol on inflammable object then definitely the fire will increase fire will not increase it will increase definitely there is no chance or that the fire will get vanquished it is not at all possible but at the like this only in the same way thus by kaam bhog kaam bhog by all those material lusty desires that lust or material desires it will just increase inside our heart it will not decrease at all kaam will definitely increase inside our heart bhuyo eva bhi vardate no ya tu no ya tu kaam ha kamanam ho bhoge na sambandh नौ या तो काम नौ या तो काम कमानम उपभोगे न सम्मत हविषा कृष्ण भक्त भोजो एवा भी वर्धत इसलिए दैट्स वाई Pralad Maharaj that's why Pralad Maharaj actually speaking in front of Narsingh Dev and he is actually just putting his uh, uh, request in front of Narsingh Dev that Prabhu that by kama inside my heart that by kama you cannot cut kama at all his situation out of the kama you cannot go out of that without the material with material desire inside your heart it will just increase day by day that this kama it is actually compared with the itching scratching your skin it is just compared with that that material desires it is actually compared with the itching of the skin scratching your skin it is just compared with that maybe you are you just make one comparison and you think that in 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 your hand that your hand in your hand finger hai that fingers are there hai, or hai. actually nails everything is there in your hand in your hand every you are actually just getting some itching in your hand and doctor speaking uh, you that you don't need to scratch your skin at all you don't need to touch any kind of nail on this and no kind of dust should also get on to your skin and don't need to touch that and now you just need to put uh, uh, apply some ointment or medicine on that you don't need to put any kind of scratch of your nails on your skin don't do any kind of itching stuff but this actually that diseased person who is actually getting that disease he is not at all actually, he is ignoring the doctor he is not at all listening to doctor at all he is actually getting some scratching and he is just more heavily he is actually scratching his skin and by that what happens that by that what happens that uh, the how medicine will work in that not at all possible so this whatever is there he is actually more and more bleeding is coming out of that by scratching the skin so medicine won't work in that that kind of that is kind itching of the skin is so much dangerous that in the life of that person those it will just if comes in the uh, life of that person individual like a friend then it will not at all leave that person when you will be just scratching your skin more you will getting more and more anand so that is called e- equivalent to that material desires it is compared with that so the so if some kind of kaam or material desires are there actually it is compared with this example is compared with that like the itching of the skin how much you will be scratching your skin you will be getting more and more anand into that you will not at all get any solution in out of that in the same way that it is actually compared with that topmost stool and urine that material desire it is compared with that why because in that there is no solution at all in that not at all any such kind of solution can come like i can give you one example regarding this that pururova that topmost pururova who is the such a topmost king he is the actually king of a topmost kingdom he is actually a king topmost king and who actually uh, all the demigods he is actually supporting them and he has supported them and given lot of helpful so much powerful king he is but 
that what you can speak it's a, it's his destiny that he just got uh, indulged in the the case with urvashi and urvashi actually wants that that i can get that king so that i can get uh, i can just uh, and he is also want that he should enjoy urvashi and urvashi wants that uh, I can enjoy Purova. So who can enjoy who? Because no one can enjoy anyone. How you can? How an Atma can enjoy Atma? It is not at all possible. But this is all kind of opposite mindset. What we are getting from Maya by the actual application of Maya, this kind of condition has done that we can't understand at all. That Purova is thinking that this body is the only enjoyable thing. That just enjoy yourself just eat sleep and drink that's it this is the actual formula that's it in life he just thinks that Pururuva. so that's why he is in thinking that with this body he will enjoy Urvashi. so what kind of disease of this material desire and different different kinds of desires what we are having related to this material world they it will definitely just like a mad dog they will just uh, he is actually it is going every like a mad dog or jiva is actually going towards the uh, door of hell with urvashi for a very long time Pur Upururava has just spent a lot of time with her that so much topmost king he is actually getting uh, involved with the association of urvashi but still up till now that kind of uh, desire that satisfaction to get uh, 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 urvashi he is not at all getting uh, he just want to associate with Urvashi more and more day and night he is not at all have, actually having this kind of thinking that what is actually going on that day and night whatever is happening with him by associating with Urvashi he is not at all thinking at all no thinking at all so much actually he is getting into Anand with Urvashi association that he is actually not at all having any thinking of him and after that that he is actually just becoming one kind of a poverty stricken poor person he is just become a poor person who is there on the path uh, on the path he is just become like that after that in the Shastras also it is written regarding this what actually written here? Very nice actually it is written here. Now actually today actually we are enjoying that. Very topmost anand we are getting out of that. So much enjoyment we are getting. And he is actually topmost intelligent eh, by taking anand. But after that he will definitely the doors of hell will will, will, will be open for him. Paralad Maharaj actually speaking. That Grahamedi uh, people who are actually in Grahast Ashram for them in the material uh, life they are actually so much entangled in that that they are actually so much entangled in material life that they are not at all actually thinking they are not at all thinking that they don't have any kind of parmarthic thinking at all that no no thinking is there for regarding their spiritual life so they are actually thinking all the time that this kind of enjoyment developing from scabies like scabies with that from the itching of your skin the scratching of your skin that what kind of that from scratching of skin that what kind of situation or condition you are getting on that and again you are actually scratching your skin more and more that with the nail you are scratching the skin more and more you are actually just uh, 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 scratching it So they are actually thinking that this is the topmost uh, happiness or anand they are getting. Love, name, fame, position. Oh my God. Very nice it is actually in life. So they are actually thinking like that. This is topmost. So 
this uh, kind of itching or scratching of the skin they are actually thinking that that is the top most uh, anand or happiness they can get in their life but if you can ask me truly then this is the actual ocean of unhappiness sadness this is the actual source of unhappiness why because by that definitely more and more unhappiness will come in that now you are actually getting anand but that same anand will just get transformed into unhappiness that definitely that unhappiness will come in your life there is no solution regarding that at all that is the actual ocean of all the unhappiness this is the source of all unhappiness ocean of unhappiness and those people who are those individual jeevas who are actually getting this kind of uh, even they have just got brahmanatva in their life means that uh, all these qualities are there of the brahman they have actually acquired in their life and the topmost uh, uh, quality in the brahmans is that that those who actually knows brahm in actual that those who are actually all the time getting those doing the seva of brahm bhagwan all the time that is called brahmin these are the all the qualities of brahman written so actually i want to speak regarding this that brahman that uh, opposite dharma of brahman who is actually brahman that uh, that is actually brahman in sanskrit that is written that those who know brahm he is actually brahman you understand the point what i am speaking that those who understand brahm and who those who actually without understanding brahm and they are actually leaving their body they are actually foolish kripan that those who are actually without realizing and understanding brahm that without understanding and realizing brahm those who are actually leaving their body from they are kripan they are actually most fallen in their life so the brahmanatva uh, opposite dharm is kripan kripan dharm that they are actually kripan those who are not unable to do bhagavat bhajan they are kripan and that uh, again and again that kind of material sensual uh, enjoyment of your material sense organs that about bhagwan in gita already told about that je hi sansparsha ja bhoga duksh jane evate adyast bant kandiyo nati shramate uda भगवान इन गीता ऑलरेडी टोल्ड टू अर्जुन जो अर्जुन दैट काइंड ऑफ हैप्पीनेस दैट आनंद ऑफ दिस मटेरियल वर्ल्ड यू आर टेकिंग जस्ट अ ग्लैंस ऑफ दैट आल्सो इफ यू आर टेकिंग ऑल दिस दैट अबाउट दिस कृष्ण टेर स्पीकिंग टू अर्जुन दैट सेंस gratification material sensual enjoyment that you are getting happiness definitely happiness is there anand is there but this anand definitely gonna put in the ocean of uh, uh, unhappiness it will just put you in the ocean of unhappiness definitely that's why actually it is written that's why those or those who are actually intelligent people those who are actually intelligent that's why those who are actually intelligent actual intelligent those who are they are not at all in this material world that kind of anand in this of this material world they are not at all uh, uh, they are not at all destroying their life at all towards destruction why because this kind of material sensual enjoyment that all your sense organs they are on material that whatever enjoyment you are getting out of that in that no up till today no one they are not at all feeling happiness complete happiness they are not at all getting satisfaction out of that at all 
and those who are actually dheer person who are actually fully patient that those who are topmost intelligent those who are dheer dheer means that who have topmost patience and those who are having no bahirmukh vritti that uh, they are actually dheer dheer means that inside them no kind of name fame position and all opposite material and restlessness impatient and kind of unstable bhav is not at all there they are actually dheer so if you just uh, be speaking then there is one uh, commentary out of that purport is there this actually is written this is the actual meaning so dheer vyakti jab vichar karta hai those who are actually very intelligent and patient those who are full of vivek they cannot of this material world they are not at all busy in that at all they are not at all running after that at all they will not be going towards the destruction at all they don't want to take their life towards destruction at all that in brahm samhita also bhagwan shri krishna that kind of anand vihar of bhagwan shri krishna that nand nandan bhagwan shri krishna that kind of anand vihar what is we can find in brahm samhita in that anand vihar that is actually transcendental in nature but the top most difficult point is that what kind of idea is there what is matter what is anti matter what is transcendent what is material they don't have any idea that the anand may vihar of bhagwan that vihar also they are thinking all material people are thinking that it is material in nature and they are actually thinking actually it's very dirty why because definitely inside their heart lot of dirtiness is there of this matter inside their heart full of dirt is there dirtiness is there inside there that's why they are thinking like this so that's why previous so that's why from very previous lot of weeks this two three shlokas on this i am just focusing more and more and i i have this kind of desire to just uh, discuss that more and more what's that shloka अखिलाभूत इसके बाद आफ्टर दिस दैट आई हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्क्राइब्ड पिछले सप्ताह दैट फ्रॉम प्रीवियस ईयर चलित भक्ति विलोचनेनो शंतह सदैव हृदय सुविलोकयन्ति इयं श्याम सुंदरम चिंत गुण स्वरूपम गोविंदवादि पुरुषम तमहं भजा प्रेमांजन छुरित भक्ति विलोचनेनो प्रेमांजन छुरित भक्ति विलोचनेनो शंतह सदैव हृदय सुविलोकयन्ति यं श्याम सुंदरम चिंत गुण स्वरूपम गोविंदवादि पुरुषम and now dusra shlok charcha kar rahe hain we will i am actually discussing the second shloka previously i have just discussed the previous shloka and in previous week samak pranita male apashya purusham purnam mayancha tadabhasvayam ye vyasdev ke par this about vyasdev this actually vyasdev maharaj is speaking like this that this about vyasdev ji is actually spoken like that by bhakti yog only that that kind of division inside our heart that all the time he is just getting into the ocean of anand after that that by bhakti bhakti eyes by bhakti chakshus 
what they have seen that kind of topmost adi purush bhagwan govin they are actually watching that by those bhakti chakshu and what kind of distinction is there between maya and bhagwan and behind bhagwan uh, maya devi actually just uh, shooting down his head down with the uh, insult and that material world's kama desires and prema it is that that material world's kama and prem what is that it is very much difficult to understand that kama of this material world that prem it is actually kama of this material world it is not at all prema that material world's kama that prem what we are seeing that is that what kind of male and female association you are seeing that you are mine and i am yours this is actually all kama or nothing else at all this is all kama it looks like that it is prema but it is not at all prema at all prabhupada actually has just spoken up till this point as well that material world as per the material standard as per the material standard it is all material it looks like that uh, so much prema is there so much attachment so much it is just like prema but everything all is actually wrong prabhupad already spoken this point but it is just it is not at all compared with prem it is all kaam it is not at all prema it is material kaam that's why in chaitanya charitamrita also it is it's written that our own material desire this kind of efforts we are putting in order to get successful into that that is called kaam that is actually called prema that is actually called prema that is actually called kaam this is the actual difference between that nothing else that is called prema in that there is lot of hell and heaven infinity differences there between that that all those devotees by prema they are actually getting the top most anand all the devotees they are actually categorized all the devotees are categorized by prema and inside their heart that kind of roop kundila vishisht everything they can take darshan inside the heart all the pure devotees sadaiva hitai shubhilok yanti iyam sam sundara machintu guna sarvam govinda vadi purusham prabhu is sat chacha this i have already just discussed with you previously and now that's 49th 39 that's sorry 39th shloka this actually it's written ृषम 
That same Purush Govind, that Param Purush Bhagwan Govind, by all those different different rules and regulations, he is actually taking the actual uh, form of Ram, etc. All those avatar, different different avatars, he is actually taking. He is actually manifesting from Bhagwan. Still, actually, it is having that that Swayam Krishna Rupa is actually manifesting his himself. In Krishna Swarupa is actually manifesting that same Adi Purush Govind. I am actually doing bhajan. I want to, I want to do bhajan of that Adi Purush Govind. Just be careful on this point what I am speaking. That Sakshat Govind Parat Parakhileshwar, that Vrindavan Chandra, that Yashodanandan, that Nandanandan Krishna, about which it's already told it's. That Bhagwan, that inside Vrindavan also, Bhagwan, that uh, topmost uh, eternal Swarup of Bhagwan in Vrindavan, that is Nandanandan Shri Krishna, and with him, that Mool Sankarshan Baldavji Maharaj is actually staying eternally, and Baldavji Maharaj and Krishna, there is no difference at all in between them. Only and only one difference is there, one bhav difference is there. That that Bhavsevya Bhagwan, he and he is actually Sevak. But uh, still, Baldauji Maharaj and Krishna, there is not at all any difference at all. And it looks like that it is all the same. And Prabhupada actually speaking regarding this that that Swayam says Swayam Prakashit Vigraha. That is the actual uh, first. Uh, Swayam Prakashit Vigra of Krishna and with Krishna actually it is not different from Krishna Baldauji Maharaj. But Prabhupada actually speaking that according to Vichar, this that Sevya Bhagwan, he is the actual Sevak of Krishna, Balramji Maharaj. But only Bal, for Baldauji Maharaj, some kind of Siddhant is that that maybe that Baldauji Maharaj is actually Sevak Vigraha. But still he is actually top most sevak. You understood the point? That only Baldauji Maharaj actually it is written that. Maybe Baldauji Maharaj is actually the sevak vigra, but still he is the sevya vigra. It means that, that Baldauji Maharaj and Krishna are not different from each other. And the actual tale of the Mayur. Baldau also actually taking on his head what Krishna is taking. The actual peacock's feather. That Bhagwan is also doing uh, Raslila and Baldav also is doing Raslila, but with a different group and community altogether. And whatever kind of Nag, Kanya, that all actually comes under Baldavji Maharaj, the topmost Anandamai Sangh they can get in their life. And they are actually realizing that as well. So that's why Baldavji Maharaj, that. Uh, he is actually Sevak Tatta, still he is actually Sevya Tatta. The only, only it's applicable for Baldauji Maharaj. That first expansion of uh, Govind, that it is actually not different from Krishna. But that with Mool Sankarshan, that all the Golok Dham from all the four directions, they are actually guarded by something. That is Chaturvyuha. That they are Vasudev, Sakarshan, Pradyumna, or Anirudh. These four Chaturvyuha, which have already come from the original 
source it is all the time actually eternally present in eternal world but still when uh, down the vakunt jagat also this kind of square protection around the dham is definitely there there also that kind of sankarshan vasudev so here all this this sankarshan what we are speaking in the vakunt jagat that uh, from here karnar dakshai mahavishnu he is actually getting manifested from here eternally and that karnar dakshai mahavishnu that who is the actual master of infinity brahmand he is actually master of infinity brahmand that karnar dakshai mahavishnu that from garbhodakshai mahavishnu each and every brahmand he is actually manifested that each and every brahmand that he, the garbhodakshai mahavishnu is manifested and after that karnanadakshai mahavishnu garbhodakshai mahavishnu and after that is kirudakshai mahavishnu and he is the actual knower of all the bonded jivas individual jivas that in the form of parmatma we can see so kamsho kala is karke bhagwan ka sare avatar nikalta hai so all the ansh avatar actually is coming out of bhagwan like that and saransh vibhin ansh this kind of vichar is there applicable that in the form of avatar ram avatar etc from vakunt that krishna golok dham is getting manifested on this material creation that is called that param purush param purush krishna shri krishna chaitanya mahaprabhu also that same is actually manifested uh, self manifestedly but still openly he is not at all accepting that secretly this is secret significance or secret significance you can say but uh, not at all openly it is written regarding that like the case of bhagavad gita mahapurana there is a lot of indication regarding that and upanishad in the upanishads also in the vedas also there is one kind of uh, proof their solution is there krishna varnam tisha krishnam sang panvast varsadam e jo do hai this actually it's there to bhagwan sa ansho kala so that kind of anshar kala of bhagwan these are actually all adi purush it is actually coming from bhagwan and in saransh avatar in ram adi avatar that krishna and from golok dham prajadham with swayam prajadham bhagwan can get manifested on this material creation as well that param purush param pushnu param purush krishna is actually that same krishna chaitanya mahaprabhu and he is actually self manifesting his own swarup in front of us in the same manner how krishna has manifested that in vibhin ansh jivas are actually coming in that category of vibhin ansh so lot of vichar is actually there regarding this ramadi murtishu kalaniyam natishtam mana avataram akarat bhavanesh kintu krishna swayam samabhavat param pumanuyo govindamadi purusham tamam bhaya it means govind is original uh, adi purush otherwise no one is there भिन्नम 
What does it mean actually? That by the actual prabhav, that by the actual prabhav of his uh, transcendental body, that infinity creation, that up, by Upanishad, which is actually being uh, uh, told in the Upanishad and introduced in by the Upanishad. It is actually getting separated from that uh, um, uh, transcendental. Uh, he is actually present on that transcendental platform. That same Adi Purush, uh, Govind, I am worshipping and I am doing Dandvat onto his lotus feet. Bhakti Mahatma Thakur actually speaking regarding this that by Maya that kind of uh, thing which is actually present in front of us that infinity material Brahman that only, it is only one path bhibhuti of that Govind what we can see this Maya world material world that this infinity material creation it is just only one path vibhuti of Bhagwan. and three path vibhuti now you can understand that how how infinite Bhagwan is that Maya that it is just one path vibhuti this Maya material creation whatever infinity material creation we are seeing that is only one path bhavuti of that coffin. And after that, it means that after that, that uh, after swaru, that swaru, that nirvishesh and services both are transcendently in present. So that how this maya, that uh, maya, this is actually one path bhavuti of Govind. That infinity material creation, what we are seeing, that Nirvishesh and Savishesh Brahm are both present transcendently. And you can see where will be the actual three path vibhuti of that Govind. That in the Vaikuntha Jagat, before entering Vaikuntha, that there is one Brahmjyoti Brahman effulgence from all the four directions that's glowing Brahman effulgence is there that uh, by his body the transcendental Brahman effulgence is coming out of his transcendental body that Govind Tripad Vibhuti that what is there in that transcendental world it means Nishkal or you can speak that without any hesitation. That uh, Anant and uh, Avashishta Tattva is actually getting manifested like this. After this, Prabhupada speaking that this Brahman, Brahman effulgence, this impersonal Brahman effulgence, this is actually just from the transcendental body of Bhagwan. it's coming. That is only coming from the transcendental body of Bhagwan. 
Govind only. That it is transcendently present in the transcendental world. That is also Brahman effulgence is also transcendental. And Bhagwan, Nam, Dham, everything is Nitya also. And after that activity it is told here that in the 41 number shloka, What does it mean? That Maya is Maya definitely in actual Swarup, that Maya, that who is actually Maya Heen, that Krishna that Adi Purusha Govinda. Sute Prasute, this actually is Sanskrit. Sato Rajotamo, that in three kinds of material modes of nature, and that whatever actually related with this infinity Brahman, that Maya, related to that infinity material creation. And a para and para vidya, that para, para knowledge is different, and apra knowledge is totally different. It's written in the Vedas. But once actually speaking this, in order to just give instruction to each and everyone, it is actually according to the different kind of category a person is possessing. But definitely, at last, only Bhagwan is the topmost goal. Their actual goal is. Mahaprabhu actually speaking this shloka. That Vedas, their actual uh, uh, instruction is that. And in Gita also it is written like that only. In Gita already, this is already written. It's already written there in Gita as well. What, what's that? That Vedas are actually coming from Bhagwan only, but still, that what is the actual aim of the Vedas? It is very much deep. Different, different kind of vicharman people, those who are making different, different kind of thoughts, that who are having different kind of nature and sanskar. That's why in the Vedas, lot of things and instructions are given in the Vedas. And Vyakran, etc. Everything is uh, Ayurveda. Everything is coming from Vedas only. Everything is actually coming from Vedas. And in this, para and apra knowledge is there. By apra knowledge, that uh, the people are getting material bondage and uh, and para and with the para knowledge they are getting out of this material bondage. Satora Jotamagun, these three kinds of material modes of nature, these three modes of material nature and uh, whatever actually is related with this material creation, this all kind of preliminary material knowledge, it is actually Vistarani Maya. It is just uh, it is just uh, uh, putting all the people in uh, false ego and all ritualistic activity, karmic yogs, this that. Everything is uh, them. Everything is uh, uh, everything. It is for them like this. Like uh, in Shantipur, I'll give you one example. That in Shantipur, that Shishi Advait Gosain, that against Advait Gosain, that smart Brahmins. They were actually against uh, Advait Gosai and they were actually against him. All those smart Raghunandan, everyone. And Advait Gosai actually swam Mahavishnu. And uh, he is actually making all the people into false ego. He is putting all the people in false ego. He swam Mahavishnu. Okay. Then. So 
So this that Smarta Raghunandan he actually in this material world he is actually following the path of karmic karm karm kandi which are he is actually following and he and another three four child of uh, uh, Advaita Gosai and Gopal except Achyutan and all other three four childs of uh, Adayat Gosai actually is just uh, quitting them leaving them why because Prabhupada used to speak that Karam Kand means that Amangal topmost Amangal but in Karam Kand they are speaking that all kind of happiness is therein that marriage is uh, happiness everything is Mangalik Kriya this is Vedic Kriya so this kind of and some society they are actually this Vedic Vedic they are actually using this slogan uh, but they don't know, don't want to hear actually don't want to uh, establish any kind of Vedic culture in their life but still they are using that slogan of Vedic Vedic so this is the thing actually going on uh, now uh, today so Smart Raghunandan under the guidance of Smart Raghunandan these all four child of Advaita Gosai going and Prabhupada speaking that Karm Khand means that Karm Khand means the actual meaning of Karam Khand is that to, to topmost a Mangal you will get. No Mangal you can get at all in Karam Khand at all. There is no logic that you will be finding Mangal in that. Adhyat Goswami has just his whole, all his four children, he just uh, le- leave them, left them. So, so he is actually from all material, crea- infinity material creation is coming from Mahavishnu. But still you see, he is actually leaving his own four child. So... This is one kind of exemplary thing for us to learn. So this which are actually has been told that Sato, Raju and Tamagun the three kinds of material modes of nature what is actually uh, that Vedagyan, Vistarami and Maya who is actually making everyone into false ego that is actually Maya Devi. That same Bhagwan that Aparashakti is there of that same Bhagwan. That same Bhagwan having this Aparashakti, what I have already told, that same, that same, that Sat Ashray Swarup, Parasatva, because Bhagwan is actually, is uh, no, is actually called Saptamurti. Bhagwan, if you will speak in Saptamurti, Saptamurti, then it is actually totally wrong, because Bhagwan is. He is not at all Sapta Rupi Murti. That is Parasapta Murti. Bhagwan is Parasapta. He is the topmost absolute truth. That Sapta, if you are speaking, actually is very less. It is actually disrespect of Bhagwan. Bhagwan, just to speak Sapta Murti, it is not at all good. That is strictly prohibited to speak like that. It is not at all good to speak Bhagwan is Sapta Murti. That is the paras, uh, Parashakti, that is Parasapta, that is Vishuddha Sattva, is there in Bhagavan. That Maya again, without any smell and contamination of Maya. What does it mean actually? The actual conclusion is as Thakur speaking. That, that um, uh, creation is done by Rajagun. Rajagun actual work role is to, to do creation. The actual creation work is done by Rajagun only. That Rajasik passion, mode of passion it is. That is the actual work of Rajagun to, to do creation. And uh, when actually creation is done, and when the creation and that and after that, that maintenance is coming, that maintenance that is not at all Vishuddha Sattva. By that, by that maintenance actually is uh, done of that created object, and destruction is definitely of that particular object will be there. That thing I have told a lot of time before you, in front of you, this point that in this material world there is no kind of any person or individual that inside him only and only, only uh, Sattva is there. It's not like that. No, no individual is there in this material world like that. By 
एवरी वन इज एक्चुअली इन टू द ओशन ऑफ मटीरियल मोड्स ऑफ नेचर बट हाँ मे बी हु इज हैविंग सत्यगुण इज मेजर एंड चीफ डेफिनेटली तमोगुण इज वेरी लेस रजोगुण इज ऑल्सो देर बट इट्स वेरी लेस सत्यगुण इज मोर प्रोमिनेंट इन हिम सो इट्स लाइक दैट दैट इज कॉल्ड दैट इज कॉल्ड सात्विक पर्सन सात्विक इंडिविजुअल दैट 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 इज कॉल्ड इन दिस वर्ल्ड एज सात्विक इंडिविजुअल बट वेन एक्चुअली इफ यू मेक अ विचार देन यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड दैट दैट इट इज एक्चुअली एट मिक्सचर ऑफ द थ्री मोड्स ऑफ मटीरियल नेचर नो इंडिविजुअल इज देयर वॉट एवर इज इज देयर अपार्ट फ्रॉम प्योर गुरु वैष्णव अपार्ट फ्रॉम प्योर गुरु वैष्णव नो अदर एनी इंडिविजुअल ऑफ दिस मटीरियल वर्ल्ड इज लाइक दैट हु इज एक्चुअली आउट ऑफ दिस थ्री मोड्स ऑफ मटीरियल नेचर हाँ मे बी दैट वॉट एवर पर्सन दैट सतो सत सतोगुण इज प्री डॉमिनेटिंग फैक्टर इन हिम इट इज मोर इन हिम सो ओके राजोगुण इज लेस एंड तमोगुण इज वेरी वेरी लेस इन हिम बट इट डजेंट मीन दैट देर इज नो इंडिविजुअल इन दिस होल मटीरियल वर्ल्ड दैट इज गेटिंग विशुद्ध सत्व दैट अपार्ट फ्रॉम प्योर गुरु वैष्णव नो मन इज लाइक दैट यू कैन कंपेयर एनी मटीरियल इंडिविजुअल सो इन दिस मटीरियल इंडिविजुअल और एनी मटीरियल ऑब्जेक्ट इट इज जस्ट द एडमिक्सचर ऑफ दिस थ्री मोड्स ऑफ मटीरियल नेचर दैट्स इट when that when he is actually going out of the three modes of material nature it is totally untouched by even these totally untouched by even satva prakita that uh, material satva gun when it is not at all touching also that is called uh, uh, topmost stage that vishuddha satva that is that vishuddha satva gun is govind That Bhagwan Govind is Vishuddha Sattva, Amishrit Sattva. That's why that Amishrit Sattva, which is not at all mixing with any kind of other Sattva, that Amishrit Sattva, that is of that Aprakrit Jagat, that is transcendental in nature, and we have already proved that. And but that it is not at all Vishuddha Sattva. It's not like that. It is impossible. That person who is actually Vishuddha Sattva. Definitely, he it has to be there. It is transcendently present. There is no other pathway open apart from that. Definitely, he will be there. There is no other pathway open for that. He will be transcendental in nature. So that Vishuddha Sattva is there. Then definitely, it is actually Aprakrit in nature. And Aprakrit means that it is eternally present. In that all the time, transcendently, it is present there, eternally. That nitya virajman dharma is actual satya. That is actual absolute truth. And a prakrit chenmai anandmai sadchid anandmai. And in this, in this parasatva only who is at getting this kind of situation maintains is maintaining that that is called vishuddha satva. And Maya even can't even touch or contaminate that particular person. and maya is actually can't touch even from the very far distant place just with the, her head shrugging down with shyness she is actually just uh, with shy mood she is actually just standing at a very far place about this i have just told a previous week about this i have already told you this no that with bhakti yoga nitra that kind of bhakti chakshu or eyes if you are getting they are actually getting deep into the ocean of bhakti and prema and definitely they they actually they actually can swim in the ocean of prema like that and they have seen that pool of purush and just by seeing that with a very shy mood she is actually far distant place she is actually With a very her shrugging her head down, Maya Devi is actually standing there, very far distant place from Bhagwan. Uh, not even actually putting her head up, even can't see Bhagwan. So much shy she is actually feeling. So that in front of uh, Bhagwan also Maya Devi can't come in front of Bhagwan also because she don't find this kind of courage to come in front of Bhagwan. So this is the actual thing. After this, 
slightly we have just understood with this vichar that after hearing this vichar we have understood a bit that parashuddha vishuddha satyam that is the top most tatta in this govind is transcendently present in this vishuddha satyam and this maya again and this maya in this material world that in this infinity material creation actually getting uh, manifested and in order to just put all the jivas into false ego so that this is actual work of maya that same maya in this material world infinity trigunya material uh, modes of nature he actually just she actually has just manifested that and all the vedas are getting manifested from this and everything has came from vedas para knowledge and apara knowledge has come from vedas only we need para vidya but what we require what to do in that so when will be going forward that in the 42nd number shlok it is already written there What actually it's written here? What actually written here? What does it mean actually? What does it mean? That those who are actually in that Anand Chinmay Ras, that person, that person, that with Anand Chinmay Ras Swarup, that all with full meditation inside his heart, he is actually just all kind of nature lila and that kind of lila chesta desire of that uh, transcendental lila he wants to see and just getting out of this material lila he is getting out of that and is just uh, himself established in that transcendental position achut means na achut means by that transcendental lila he is getting that topmost mangal and topmost anand is getting he is getting advanced onto that transcendental platform and with very nice sweet rasa he is getting out of those transcendental leelas that which can just uh, uh, divert the uh, that anand chinmay swarup just by remembering the transcendental leela it can just uh, get inside the heart of those material bonded jeevas and it can just transform their material heart into transcendental mood that same adi purush govind i am worshiping i want to worship him So this is the actual why actually prani shab word is used because bhakti is such a thing that it is not for only human beings but for each and every beast birds everything actually is uh, eligible for that in ramayana you can see that hanuman ji maharaj bali sugriv nal neel everyone actually are animals and beast and bhalu that bear is also there everyone actually is getting bhakti for shri ramchandra everybody is getting that bhakti inside their heart gilari jo hai even the squirrel also there is very small squirrel also bhagwan also giving kripa to her she actually just speaking at the time of setu bandhan ram setu she has just contributed to that ram setu bridge but what she can do that squirrel small little squirrel but Shri Ram Chandra Ji Mahan has just seen the actual bhav of that squirrel. That how actually and speaking that Hanuman, what Hanuman speaking, what you are doing? She is actually again going into the water and just putting that small stone into the water. What you are doing? She is also actually contributing to the seva of Setu Bandhan. <laughs> you see, he is actually Ram Chandra Ji speaking to Hanuman. Okay, it's very good if she can contribute, Bhagwan. he actually accepted each and every one bhagwan accepted each and every one so jo anand chinmay rasarup mein 
in anand chinmay raswarup who is already established in that that inside the smaran kari all the jivas is getting inside their heart by that nijlila chesta that who is getting a, a transcendent be placed in the his transcendent lila all the time that he is all the time pla- placed in his transcendent lila that same govind i am actually want to worship this i have already told you this actually has been told that thakur speaking bhakti mun thakur that those people who are taking the sadupadesh of your guru vaishnav those who are sahajiyas i am not at all talking about at all they are all sahajiyas i don't want to talk about them at all that under the guidance of thakur i want to speak that those people who are that only a sad vyakti can give a sad upadesh a kapat sahajya can't give a sad upadesh for of bhagwan he they will be all all the time telling wrong things only so the actual siddhant is that that those people who are taking the sad upadesh of pure guru vaishnav and they are actually following that in their life all the time uh, transcendently that kind of ujjwal Uh, ras which are of krishna in that kind of topmost sachidanand vigre of krishna inside their heart they are actually remembering that that naam roop gun lila what is actually attached with bhagwan they are doing all the time that is called actual smaran kali they are actually in their heart that dham is that dham and lila actually is getting manifested inside their heart that same kind of dham lila what is transcendental lila that ashwarya madhurja it is just uh, uh, winning that we getting winning over that and is all the time getting manifested in the heart of those pure devotees but uh, those who are actually getting uh, uh, lost by the maya devi it is actually that name fame position bhog and an enjoyment related to this body we are actually getting into that that we are actually getting uh, uh, lost in that battle with maya devi and we are actually getting lost in that all in for infinity time but all those uh, from the mouth of lotus mouth of pure guru sadguru vaishnav that kind of topmost upadesh which is actually coming that they are all the time nirantar ujjwal ujjwal ras that topmost ras they are actually getting established in that and ram roop gun lila all the time they are doing that and transcendental lila of bhagwan is actually manifesting in their heart all the time that for those people that dham and lila mai krishna is actually getting manifested and the same manifestation of dham and krishna inside their heart at the time of janmagat leela that infinity enjoyment what it is there that kamini kanchala puja position name fame position they are actually just kicking that away they are just uh, kicking that away that bhagwan is there that transcendental leela bhagwan is expressing in front of those pure devotees and in sachidanand vigra swayam govind vigra bhagwan is actually uh, is present eternally in that eternal transcendental dham bhagwan bhagwan is actually becoming victorious what does it mean that those people who are uh, those people who are those people who are taking the updesh instructions of rasik vaishnav and they are actually following that ujjwal ras that's why i am speaking rasik devotees that they are rupanugra ganuga devotees those who are actually taking the shelter of rasik rupanuga devotees taking the sat updesh of those devotees and all the time they are actually eternally present in that eternal ujjwal ras present in that braj bhumi they are getting manifested in that it is it's already there in braj bhumi it means that those individuals who are getting their swarup siddhi and they are getting uh, under the guidance of those the rupanuga devotees they are taking the sadupadesh instructions of of those pure guru vaishnav 
and all the time uh, ujjwal ras they are actually getting established into that and all that which is actually just churning the heart of transcendental heart of bhagwan that naam roop gun leela all the time they are remembering that of bhagwan that is they are actually uh, smaran kari people otherwise others are all in bonded condition that's why prabhu was speaking what does prabhupad po told here that inside our heart that roop gun leela smaran they that they are actually actual sadhu they are actually smaran kari sadhu they are all the time just remembering bhagwan continuous uh, bhagwan remembrance of bhagwan inside their heart ram uh, dham leela may leela all the time is manifesting inside their heart that same manifestation of that leela and dham inside their heart continuously that kind of dham gat leela in this material world whatever kind of name fame position everything is there it is all actually uh, all in ashwarya and madhurya it's gonna uh, we get victorious over that it will get victorious over that uh, uh, opulent opulences of this material maya what does it mean here so this is the that is the actual uh, picture of that anandamaya transcendental world and after that because time is actually going no that god purnima also has come it is there is no uh, place that it can get complete but still i am actually trying to complete it that whatever analytical uh, discussion we can do that is only uh, much and much better this is the actual nitya seva also how what i will do by just finishing it this is actually nitya seva all the time it will go on so after leaving body also this is my seva uh, today also this is my seva what does it mean here what does it mean actually the what does it mean here here actually it is meant that whatever all the jeevas are present in this material world in that material world in which jagat we are actually presiding there so this is actually devi dham that above this devi dham that mahesh dham is there and after mahesh dham there is hari dham and above hari dham that topmost to golok dham is actually present transcendently in is above that hari dham also vaikunt but maybe you can think that transcendental world when you are speaking like this it's not any kind of question is coming in that but still it will be but in general if you say we are actually no kind of kuntha is there but still golok dham and vaikunt this kind of difference is there that 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 in this same dham those people that kind of that kind of prabhav or effect you can say that jeevas are having that effect that same kind of uh, that by the devi dham mahesh dham hari dham sab golok dham actually all manifestation of that govin and those who are according to their swarup and nature they are actually by that effect 
it is they are actually getting established in that that same Adi Purush Govind. I want to worship him. So this is the actual point. Thakur under the guidance of Thakur, we can understand this that what does it mean? That the topmost, that topmost, that is Kolok Dham is present there. We also know that that up till this our 14 material worlds in between that Devi Dham is there and when you go Bhur, Bhuva, Swajan, all these Dhams are there on upper planetary system and there are lower planetary system in between uh, down the Devi Dham so like this in this way this is actually the strategy the actual meaning of this purport is that what is the actual conclusion of this it is that that topmost is Golok Dham Topmost is Golok Dham. That Brahma ji is actually that Golok Dham, topmost Golok Dham is actually signifying that and just uh, signifying that topmost Golok Dham that his own individual situation, that kind of Dham and Nam is glorifying that. That first is Devi Dham, that material creation in which we are actually getting manifested and this uh, up till Satya Lok, that kind and down you are going uh, all seven planetary systems are there up and down and then Shiv Dham will come and it will go after Virja River and you will cross that, that is called Mahakalpur and in one Anch that is one no light is there, darkness is there where Krishna has taken Arjun there to Mahakalpur when Arjun wants to take, wants to do suicide when he wants to go into the fire then a Brahman boy he cannot uh, 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 he, that kind of Dwarka Vishya is already there that he can't protect that Brahman boys so after that when you will be going after Mahakalpur that Anandamai Chin that Sadashiv Dham is there so this Dham, that Mahakalpur Dham, it is just getting introduced with like that. And same Anch when you are actually getting there, Krishna taking Arjun there, that towards Mahavishnu by that Balaha named horse, he is taking that to the Mahakalpur Dham. And that kind of topmost darkness is there. And one Anch of that darkness when you are cutting that, that they have just went to Mahalokmai Sadashiv. Uh, Ash, and that Sadashiv Lok, it is the starting point of Vaikunt Shetra. You can speak that it is equivalent to Vaikunt Sadashiv Dham. And after that, Haridham, it means that Vaikunt, that Chit Jagat Vaikunt Golok will come. Devi Dham, that Maya Veva Prabhav opulences. That kind of Saran Shabhav, what is there in this material Maya, everything is there. You know that already I have explained. I want to speak that Devi Dham actually is Maya Mai Dham and Sadashiv Ji has, who has actually supplied the material Mahatattva. But Upadan Karan is actually Sadashiv, what he has provided the material to Maya Devi. And Amit Karan, that Mahavishnu, just to see Maya Devi, that just to have a glimpse of the eyes towards Devi, that is called creation. That is Upadan Karan. Pra, that same Upadan Karan, that Sadashiv Adhyat Vasai is the actual cause of that. And Sadashiv Dham above that is the Hari Dham, Vaikuntha Dham, and Devi Dham, Maya, Vaibhav Prabhav, the opulences, effect, it is all in the Shiv Dham. That Sadashiv Dham, that kind of infinity opulence, because all those ingredients are coming of that Mahatattva coming from that uh, Sadashiv Tattva. 
and that sanan ch bhav my prabhav actually is just understand the point that we will nanch that sanan ch i'll be just discussing it till tomorrow that vibhinan shar jeevas are also coming in that and shankar brahma they are also actually coming in vibhinan when when bhagwan shankar he is actually becoming brahma then it is a different separate case i will be discussing it tomorrow today in very hurry i can't do it properly so i'll be just uh, forgive me i'll be just uh, leaving up till today now जन्म हितुचम